Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about a super helpful software which is TidyCal. If you're someone who struggles with managing your time, staying organized or coordinating schedules, then stick around because TidyCal might be just the game changer you've been waiting for. All right people, here is TidyCal, the simplest way to book and schedule meetings. So let's go ahead and check out the pricings of TidyCal. So guys, as you can see, we have the free plan here which is uh, going to give us these uh, options here so what are we getting and what are we not getting so we are getting customer support and all of these things above in the pre package but uh, all of these things like customer email reminder group bookings package booking booking limit these are not available for the free plan integration is basic and maximum calendar connections is only one whereas if you get the lifetime plan you will be able to connect up to 10 calendars and yeah it's only available uh, for lifetime plan and uh, you can buy it on app sumo not from their website well that's kind of cheeky so let's go ahead and see what app sumo is offering so here is tidycal it has 261 reviews and still manages to get more than four tacos well that's impressive in my opinion and then when we are scrolling down let's see the uh, terms and conditions of the deal so this is the terms and conditions of the deal, lifetime access to TidyCal and all future plan, uh, lifetime plan updates will be provided. You get two, uh, 60 days of money back guarantee, which means two months of money back guarantee. And then uh, in lessons tier one, we are getting 10 calendar connections, free and paid meetings, uh, reduced branding, group bookings, pro integrations of Zoom, Google Meet, Zapier, API, etc. And then we have custom redirection URL. All right, so moving back to the TidyCal software itself. Now we are gonna get started by creating an account. So we are going to sign up uh, to our TidyCal account. As, uh, we have a register with Google, so just one click and we are gonna get registered without a problem. So let's get registered to it. All right, so here is TidyCal. We will give it our Google Calendar uh, access because the more access it gets, the more integration uh, it will have. Like if you have any plans set on your Google Calendar, then uh, the entries of TidyCal will not conflict with those uh, entries on your Google Calendar. That's why uh, integration is important. So we have Taco Party here and we are inside the website. We can upgrade to the lifetime access from clicking here and uh, we have zero earnings. Use a chargeable booking type to start earning money with TidyCal. So if we want to do paid meetings and we are going to be uh, setting up chargeable bookings, then uh, we will be able to earn by uh, doing uh, scheduling meetings with people. So uh, we can create a new booking type here and there are already three booking types uh, at the moment so you can see a uh, booking 15 minutes meeting and these bookings are actually on that's why they have been turned on so here is the entire web app interface now we are going to see how the application works so let's uh, go ahead and create a booking type We are going to create a title. This is going to be a test booking type. Since there can't be any spaces, the link in the link, then that's why we have a hyphen. All right, so this is going to be the title. No description is going to be our description. Okay, now we are going to create the booking type. So we can copy our link. Uh, duration will be like uh, 120 minutes a weekly specific dates uh, you're only available on specific dates okay so we can select only available for specific dates or weekly so we are gonna select uh, our weekly plan based on Sunday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Saturday so I'm gonna leave one day gap between but still we are working on Saturday and Sunday which is obviously not cool so we are going to be working on uh, these three days and we're going to stay on vacation for the rest of the four days 
uh, and here we can view advanced booking type settings so we are going to go ahead and advanced booking type settings so how far out can user book so well user will be able to book 60 days ahead well that's not a problem minimum meeting padding well meeting padding will be uh, like it's good to have 30 minutes break between meetings in order to refresh our shelves and then available uh, time slot interval 15 minutes um, bookers can't schedule within two hours of current time okay so all these are okay now location online video conference phone call physical address we can go for physical address or online video conference uh, no okay, no location no online video conferencing this time well we are gonna have some questions to invitees we can add questions if we want to ask any questions to the invitees and then we have confirmation redirection URL well these plans we can't actually use these plans because uh, if you have the premium plan you will be able to limit bookings then uh, enable group bookings well if you want your uh, meeting to be with uh, a group of people then you should enable group booking here and then we have charge for this booking you can charge for uh, your booking to people if you have the paid plan so in free plan we are unable to charge people for our bookings that's pretty sad we are not earning money because we are using a pre plan that's dope okay now we have customized email reminders then we have add confirmation redirect url we have private mode then display on booking types his directory okay now we are going to update the booking type success your booking type was saved so uh, if uh, my booking type was saved why am i here okay let's just go back to booking types and check out uh, 60 minutes okay so this one is going to be two hours as you can see we have no description uh, that's what we have set okay now these are the links of my meetings so we can just copy link and go to the meeting itself let's go ahead and check a link we're just going to override this page tidy cow dashboard I wonder where did it go okay well, here we go. We have 15 minutes uh, meeting and we can select any date. So let's go ahead and select 18 of August and then we are going to select a time. We can go, to, we should go to meeting at 9 a.m. in the morning. Well, book event. Well, I'm booking my meetings as myself because I don't have another ID here. But uh, people will be able to join your meetings using those URLs. Now let's go ahead and check how paid meetings work let's, because I haven't checked how paid meeting is working. So this is the paid meeting area where we are going to be uh, in meeting for one hour. Now I'm just going to select a different time 1 p.m. and then 60. Uh, please complete payment setup before accepting payments. Okay so we are going to need payment setup in order to uh, register for a paid meeting. Then we have date polls, okay, so date poll should, now let's go ahead and start, create a new date poll. Okay, date poll is for premium users, so there is nothing that we can do here. Let's just move on and go to my bookings. So as you can see, I have selected a booking earlier on from the calendar, and that booking is here uh, scheduled already. So you can check out if, if someone has accepted your meeting or scheduled your meeting, and your booking will be right here. And then if you have any close contacts, then the contact list will be available here. So you can check out your contacts from this page too. And now we are going to check out these settings so let's go ahead and check out the main settings in main settings we have our profile we can change our profile picture we can change our booking page link we can change our name email address we can change our time zone time format our currency everything is changeable here so you can set up your account by changing things that you want we have pricing again here let's see what the roadmap is giving us all right, so the roadmap here is giving us the to-dos and progress. Well, that's roadmap for the development of uh, TidyCal. So there's nothing we can do here. 
and I guess that's pretty much it for Tidy Cal. Wrapping things up guys, I have to say Tidy Cal has earned its spot as my go-to scheduling and organizing tool. It's not just a calendar, it's a productivity powerhouse that has truly helped me to reclaim control over time. So if you're ready to bid farewell to chaos and embrace a more organized life, give Tidy Cal a try. I've left a link below down in the description below for you to check it out. Don't forget to hit the like button and if you found this review helpful and subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so you never miss out on the future updates. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay organized and stay awesome.